Hello, I am Pam, and this is my channel, Made by Pam. So, today is Friday, December 15th, 2023. Wow, it's another Friday. Now, I didn't do a Friday Souls last week. Um, I just really didn't have a whole lot to share, and it was just one of those weeks. It just wasn't going to happen. But, this week... I have been busy, so it isn't per se an actual pattern, but if you need it to, you could go off um, the Simplicity 8845, a Mimi G pattern, but it's not from that, okay? So years ago, I um, bought a 5X denim jacket. So that I could deconstruct it and use it as a pattern piece to make a new jacket. Yeah, a little weird, right? <laughs> well, I made the new pattern pieces for the denim jackets. Now I've made a black one and then I've... Well, I've made a purple one, and then I made a purple and black one. I actually have a picture on my phone. So let me go ahead and grab that and show you. Okay, so this is one of the pictures of a denim jacket that I made. And here is the back view. Here's another view. So that jacket I made years ago um, as a commission project. And before that, I made just a black one. But I don't remember if I actually... Well, I made a purple one that was just a plain purple. And I added... Um, a patch on it, but I'm not seeing it in here. It might be in a different part of my phone. But, um, I decided that I was going to, um, use some fabric that I got from Walmart. So it's this fabric here. And I decided I wanted to take those pattern pieces and convert them over to make a jacket for my daughter-in-law. So, I made a jacket. And yes, the zipper, you have it right. It's like a um, pale green, like a sherbet green. <laughs> because that's all I had that would fit this. So basically, I took the pattern pieces, I sewed them together, and then um, cut the seams and sewed it up. And then it does have the inside pocket there, which I do have a little, you know, a little peekaboo. I might need to stitch that closed so that stuff doesn't fall out if she used to put money in there or something. Um, but it's pretty much done. I have black cuffs on the sleeves, but um, I didn't have enough of the black for the bottom hem, so I did just a, like a navy blue. But it has a lot of dye on it because I did get the fabric from Walmart. And, you know, it just, handling it, it turns my hands kind of purple, and like kind of bluish. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, yeah. Then this is a pocket piece. And they're nice deep pockets. 
And instead of doing the collar, like what you would do with a regular denim jacket, I just did a hood. And I took this hood off of um, the oversized hoodie pattern that I have made from before. So yeah. And it pretty much drowns me. But I think it will fit wonderfully on my daughter-in-law. I think she'll be very grateful to have this jacket coat. How nice, right? Alright, well that's what I have done this week. Last week I did finish an oversized hoodie. Okay, sorry about that. I have this oversized hoodie that I finished. And I like to use like blankets and stuff because they're nice and fuzzy on the other side too. So, this is the front. It has a big pocket. See, it has the big pocket. And then also with this, I also added like another inside pocket that can be just an auxiliary pocket just to hold something. And we got the sleeves and the sleeve cuffs. And this is the hood and this is the inside lining of the hood. So yeah, and that, there's the back. So I finished that last week. Um... And then also, I repaired zippers all, you know, over the last week. So, this is a jacket that used to be my sister's. And she gave it to me. And basically because the zipper was broken. Now, the zipper itself wasn't broken, but the zipper pull had come off. Well... This isn't the best zipper pull, but it's, you know, it, it's what I could do. So I had repaired a jacket for my brother. Um, because the zipper itself was falling apart, like the zipper tape. And so I repaired his jacket, but I had to replace the zipper because... Um, the zipper itself wasn't, like, the zipper was good, but, like, the fabric along the edge of the zipper was no good. And I don't remember if I have it sitting here or if I put it away somewhere. I have no idea. I don't remember. I probably put it away somewhere just to get it off my table. So, I had repaired his jacket. And then my daughter needed her jacket repaired, so I repaired that, and she needed a new zipper pull. So a new one of these on her jacket, um, because it had, it, like the piece was broken off, and so it made it difficult to use. So I had taken the front off, and I replaced the sleeve cuffs. And replaced the bottom cuff. And was going to replace the zipper. But. There really wasn't a good zipper to replace it with. And so what I did is I took some zipper pulls. So I have like several zipper pulls. Different kinds. And I took that and I experimented and checked to see if it would work. So I took the little thing off the top of the zipper. And took the zipper, old zipper pull off, and then I experimented to see which one would fit, which one would work. And so I was able to do that for my daughter's jacket. So she still has the same zipper, just a new zipper pull, which looks great. And then my husband's zipper, um, it wasn't connecting. So the zipper pull had gone bad. 
Well, what I did is I took a zipper pull that I have in my stash and I used it on his jacket and tested it out to see which one would work best. And I found one that would work. And so I attached that to his jacket. And so I didn't have to like take the jacket apart and replace a whole zipper. I just replaced the zipper pull and now it connects and zips up and it's great. So yeah, that's what I have been up to. Sorry, it's been hectic. And now the next two weeks, kids are out of school. Yay! For winter break. Alright, so that is about all. I do have more stuff I need to get done. I do need to get some Barbie clothes made for a commission. Um, yeah, lots of stuff to do. But yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay creative. And until next time. Bye now.